Attempt number two. Here's the component in question. Let's remove it. There's some numbers on here but I don't necessarily see, oh here we go 25C, no that's just better a number okay so we got potentially a model number or a part number but I don't see any indication of what the the uh, thermal temperature is some kind of a button very interesting I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassemble with that thing just kind of in the base. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Not that screw, but this this thermal cut-off. Let's see what happens. I'll just kind of set it like that or something. There it is for now. It's just kind of sitting down there. That's a very temporary answer. If it runs like this at bare minimum, I have to secure that some way so that it doesn't contact the bottom of the case or the sides and cause a short. But I think it's okay enough for a test. So I'll finish putting this back on and then we'll test it out. Okay, now we wait. It's been running for a while now, and it seems to be working properly. Nothing seems to be getting hotter than it should be. The control area is 80 something degrees. The top is about 90. Um, the side is 82. Behind the element, it's uh, about 100. You know, considering that this is almost 600 degrees, that's all very reasonable. So I think, I think it's working fine. And I think either the sensor is faulty or the design is just faulty. I'd like to say it couldn't be the design. There's no way that such a crazy product would leave the factory in that kind of a condition. But we've seen plenty of situations where it does. So, I can't say for certain that the design is not defective, but I think what I'm going to do at this point is I will try to order another one of those thermal sensors and see, or actually what I'll do first is I'm going to see if I can get a data sheet for that thermal sensor and see what the temperature range is, because we know at this point, and I'm going to declare this is operating normally, at normal operating temperatures, the basin here is, is about 500 degrees at the hottest point. Right there, it's about four, 400 or so. So if that thing is rated for, let's say, 600 degrees, then we know that it's faulty because it's not quite there yet. But if that temperature thing is rated at like 200 degrees or something lower than that, then it's a stupid design. So we'll have to do uh, another part of this video after I do some research.